We are following breaking news right now at 730. The body of a missing boy, five year old Darnell Taylor, has now been recovered. He was found overnight in a sewer drain in southwest Columbus on Marsdale Avenue near Frank and Gantz Road. This started just after 3 a.m. Wednesday when Pammy May's husband called 911. Two hours later, an Amber Alert was issued. Less than an hour after that, they found Pammy May's car in Brooklyn. That's a suburb just outside of Cleveland. However, there was no sign of her or the boy. And that leads us all to this tragic update from within the past hour. The body of Darnell Tate recovered. Stephanie Chaynock is joining us now live from Columbus Police Headquarters. They just held that news conference uh, delivering just this devastating news, Seth. Yeah, Kurt Jessica, uh, Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant calling this a tragic end to this multi day Amber Alert. She said this is not the outcome they were hoping for. But as you just said, officials recovered a body early this morning believed to be five year old Darnell Taylor. Now, CPD says Pammy May, his legal guardian, she was located in the Cleveland area, which is near where that Jeep was discovered. Uh, she was walking around last night and was taken in for questioning later identified. She told investigators that the body of five year old Darnell may be in a sewer drain in Franklin County. Last night at 9.38 p.m., Brooklyn Police Department officers were dispatched to a business in the 4000 block of Teatman Road on a report of a woman walking suspiciously around the building. The responding officers identified the woman as Pammy May and took her into custody without incident. And CPD says shortly after 1 a.m. this morning, that's when they were able to recover a body they believe is the young boy at Marsdale and Eastbrook Drive South. Now, May was taken to a hospital after that questioning in the Cleveland area. Police say they are not sharing what she was treated for, if she had any injuries, whether that be physical or mental. They did say that murder will now be added to her charges and that this is being treated as a homicide. And this is important to note, officials can confirming that her husband still not considered a suspect in this entire situation. They did reach out to him, but have not gotten into contact just yet. We'll continue to bring you the latest developments on this shocking and devastating end to this Amber Alert. For Good Day Columbus, I'm Stephanie Chainock. Back to you.